stretching their on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they called Kichigumi. The lake it is said never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald laid him be. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. That ship was the pride of the American side coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighter's bow, it was bigger than most with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms, they left fully loaded for Cleveland. Later that night when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind in the wires made a tattletale sound and a wave broke over the railing. And every man knew and the captain did too. Twas the witch of November come stealing. The dawn broke late and the breakfast had to wait as the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck, saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya. 7 p.m. the main hatchway caved in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril And later that night when his light went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald God goes when the gales turn the minutes to hours. The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they put 15 more miles behind her. She might have split up or she might have capsized. She might have broke deep into the water. But all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron rolls, superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. And further below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go as the mariners all know with the gales of November remembered.
past the old hall in Detroit they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral and the church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald and the legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchikumi. Superior, it said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. 